Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to once again take a look at a pattern, well actually not a pattern book, but a knitting and yarn catalog that I received in the mail. This is Don't Be Fooled by the, the Valley Yarns up here, but this is actually the summer 2020 edition of the Webs catalog or yarn.com as it is known by. So we'll just go ahead and take a look through here. I haven't looked through this one yet. This and the one from yesterday's episode were just kind of hanging out at my computer desk for several weeks and I finally brought them upstairs and decided to take a look through what the content is. So if you're not familiar with this series, I just kind of look at a bunch of different yarns and patterns, ooh and ah, tell you guys my thoughts on what I see and if I am going to make them or not, or keep them in mind as inspiration. So I'm zooming right in here on this uh, Dassin cardigan. So it looks like it's knit. Sheer minimalist and work in the round. Yay! This cardigan is easy to knit and wear. I liken it. I'm liking it a lot because it is exactly what I would want and look for in something for summertime. Um, if you guys have watched some of my other videos recently, it's been super hot, which is kind of why I'm in my bedroom today because I have the fan and... Uh, the, the ceiling fan and it does help quite a bit and the room that I usually film in is stifling hot um, but I mentioned that I had some lightweight cover-ups on the way to kind of help me stay cool and modest <laughs> and this is definitely something I used to have something similar like a cocoon type wrap and it'd be nice to have something of my own but you see, this is in, um, I'm guessing this is made in the French, French blue, but you could see French blue here and the color here are not, not quite the same, but you know, if it's very loose, it probably is lightening up that color a little bit, but it does look different, uh, compared to the, the picture there. We have this shawl. I'm really digging this here. What is this? This is yes, D saffron knit in two tenths merino tensile. Very nice. Alright, let's not jump too far ahead. We have alpaca. 100% baby alpaca and wardrobe ready color palette. This is very reminiscent of the color block cal that I'm already working on. I do really like that pattern. It is the tarm again? Oh my gosh. Very lovely as well. Love these airy, airy looking designs. That's a cool sweater. Color work though. Antarsia? Is that what that is? Now this caught my eye. Uh, this is the buttercream. Pretty cool. Let's see, 
feel like I've maybe I've seen something similar to this shawl, but I feel like I've seen that before. Lots of things with like these zigzag rows as of late. I've noticed quite a few patterns like that. Yes, crafting through the tough times. Hmm. I like that. This is the designer series flotante. It's a nice vest as well. Very interesting blanket. Oh, color work. That's that's intense. Do like this um poppy seed. That's what it's called. Just look at the details on the sleeves. Very nice. Like that. Like some cabling. This is the designer series Lynette, and this is that one up there called the Cockatiel. Interesting. I think it does look like a bird, like wings. Think of it. Feathers. Ah. Notions and things. Ooh. That's pretty nice. I really like this one here. That's the pomegranate. Yeah, I guess so. Here we have a Neapolitan cardigan, is what this one's called. Some of the details of the back. That's tricky looking, but very cool. Ibis. Yeah. Let me take a look about what this guy is. I like it. Oh, it's called Lemon Drop. Getting into some sweater action here. This is Peppercorn. And then the scarf is toffee. I like it. Mm -mm. Lavender and spearmint. Now, something on the other side caught my eye. This cold spring shawl. I have a feeling I have to seam pieces together. If I'm lucky, maybe you start each color on its own. I like it. So this shawl is like legit just a very skinny 
skinny long blanket if you think about the shaping of it so could a blanket be a shawl and a shawl be a blanket depending on who you ask i'd say yes This is Leverett, or is this, oh no, that's the type of yarn. This is what is this? Must be a, yeah, Sterling. Starling, my bad. Starling. And then, oh, typical dishcloths, spice drop, and uh, what's the other one? Oh no, this is spice drop. What's B? Oh, B is marzipan. So it's spice drop. I like it. Simple. is very much my style floppy stripey loose this is weekend and NYC love it like this too pockets I love pockets yuzu very nice stuff over. This is pastel. Kid is B. English Muffin. <laughs> that sounds like a, a pet name. English Muffin. This is the Gradient Mosaic Lap Blanket. And this is Cumin. Oh, I love Cumin. That spice makes a dish amazing. Hmm. I like this. This is... B. Phoebe. And then A is... Larkspur Shawlette. Yeah, uh, their printing kind of got all messed up here. That is Penny Candy. And then we have Opaline Heirloom. Heirloom, 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 heirloom. More stripes. This is Bee Balm. Interesting name. Pat's Belvedere. Vest is Wildflowers from Lars. And then the sweater is Mint Cooler. Interesting. Lana Groza, this shawl, just listen to Lana Groza, it doesn't have a name, it doesn't look like, oh, notions, or needles, more action, A is nougat, and then the shawl is Avoshi. Oh, 
I like the kind of um, lacy work on the bottom. This is Tanager. Interesting. I don't know if I like how that vest is laying. I like the pockets though. You can barely see them, but they exist. We have saltwater taffy. Hmm. Nice. And this is bubblegum. I like bubblegum. It would be better if it had pockets, but it's good. Oh, oh that's pretty. Here we have caramel cream and tutti frutti. These names just do not um, match. <laughs> What's in a name, though, right? We have nice, nice stuff here. Mm hmm that's a lot of detail. That's nice, Kayla. And then her sister over here is Laura. And what's on this side? We have... Baharats and Glimmer. Looks like more cables, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there are just there are some cables in there. Entertaining cables is what they called it. At least describing that. This Detail is so subtle, but really cool. I like that. Tarragon is the name of that one. Another cable Cardi. And there's the details at the back. Here's something. A nice, simple simple design. Nations. Walking. Bam. This is... Well, that's interesting. It has like these little openings there. This is the uh, coaster from Nora and A is Episode. Lots of cables. Are you a cable person or are you a simple person? Not that you are simple, like simpleton, but like, do you just like a nice cut and dry pattern? Or are you into the stuff that gives you that pop, like cables do? This is Eden, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yay, something for a guy. <sighs> this is a... Uh... Parapet? Whoa. 
That blanket's crazy. Cardamom. Another kid one. Barrage. C is Peppermint Kiss. I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, ew, this is A. This is, um, Honor. And then B is Bergamot. C, Chaver, Taveras. I like that. It's not too crazy looking. Oh, I'm losing it. Slipping off the pillow. Super bulky, bulky baby blanket. Tongue twister. Oh, and more of the little sheepy outfits. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, and she's a mermaid over here. Isn't that cute? The little characters. All right, so this one wasn't as lively as maybe some of the other episodes, but let me know if there were any of the patterns that we looked at that really called out to you, really gave you some inspiration to either look up a similar pattern or find the exact same one or make up one of your own. Any colorways and detail work that were really um, eye-catching and exciting for you, let me know in the comments. So thanks so much for taking time out of your day to look at this catalog with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. I sure got some inspiration myself. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!